YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to the Southern Snack in this video. Mountain Dew Pitch Black Zero and Mountain Dew Energy Pitch Black Review. This is the second new one that he uploaded yesterday and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. And welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, folks, let's get to rolling. These were so hard to get my hands on. Now, Pitch Black Zero cans, they're pretty easy to find. Um, but the bottles, oh, they took forever to come out over here. And then I've only seen Pitch Black Energy drink one time out here in Hampton Roads. I'm sure it's finally hitting shelves, and that's great. But now everybody's moving on to Strawberry and Cream Dr. Pepper, which I probably won't be able to find for a month. That's just, come on, so the distributors, come on, get it together, help me out, help me as a reviewer, let's get this done. All right, so. Sorry, I had an itch right here, sorry everyone. And I had an itch on my head too, sorry everyone. We're going to do a review on these two drinks. All right, whatever works, works, right? So we'll start with zero. Again, I tried the OG. I tried it at the Sheets Fountains, and I tried it uh, like a week ago. It tastes the same. It hasn't changed. And I'm telling you, I haven't had it, you know, back when it came out in 2016. But I'm telling you, more than likely, it hasn't changed since then either. Y'all just, y'all trick yourself. You say, it's not as good. They did something all y'all had, y'all, you know, one factor that many of y'all also shared, y'all had COVID. You know who hasn't had their change, uh, taste, effect by COVID? Me. Trust me when I tell you things. I can guarantee you, it don't taste no different. My mom, her taste buds have changed so much, you know, and I don't mean to go on a tangent here. We'll, we'll wrap that up. But, you know, from surgery she's had and then COVID. Both times, her, her her preference has changed. It's you guys that are changing. I'm telling you, there are some things that do change. But Mountain Dew Pitch Black has not changed. There was Pitch Black 2, which was more sour, apparently. But I'm telling you, it hasn't changed. They're not going to change an iconic flavor. They might take some bad chemicals out of it, but they're, they're not going to change this. Right? So y'all are overreacting. Get over yourselves. It tastes the same. What I'm here to tell you is, does zero sugar taste that good? The only time I like to drink zero sugar drinks is when I mix it with whiskey, liquor, whatever. Because it's better than mixing sugary drinks. Because I don't want to get really, really, really fat. I'm trying to lose weight. So, let's see how good this is compared to the real one. Real sugar. Not real sugar, it's high corn fructose syrup, but whatever. Damn. Despite like the, the lingering after the aftertaste here that bubbles up from not having sugar, I think this flavor profile really does well for it to be zero sugar. Maybe because it's the bitterness of grape that comes in grape soda and that dark flavor that comes there, um, plus the citrus. Maybe it's just such a busy flavor that you're not thinking, okay, since it's zero sugar, it's going to, you know, that, that, that aspartame flavor is going to get to me, that, that um, sweetener flavor is going to get to me. And it does at the end, but that... Bold flavor, that bold rush of flavor, does it make it ever so worth it? Yes. If you are, if you can't drink sugar filled pitch black, this one is doing a good job. A very good job. You get everything in terms of flavor, and then it kind of dwindles into that, that hell of an experience that you get with every zero sugar drink. But. For what it is, I have to give that an 8. I give the OG a 10, easily. Powerful flavor, inspiring. But, um, you know, it's it's easily an 8. You know, you, you can't do as good as a, a, a real sugar 
or you know a sugar loaded drink but i gotta give them credit gotta give you credit mountain dew gotta give you credit so moving on we're gonna drink this whole thing not for the video but today we're drinking this whole thing nice little can nice purple lion and a nice outer space in the background yeah now, if you really want to have some fun, just start saying bitch black all the time. Just bitch black. Have fun with that. I, I think that would be fun. Just say, oh, I got dyslexia. I thought it was, I always thought it was bitch black. Anyways, Mountain Dew Energy. Let's try it. I love the Baja. And let me tell you what, after one sip, I'm loving this. You're adding something other than just, just just sweetener in here. Um, there there is a little bit of sugar that adds a little bit of jitter to it. But whatever else they throw into an energy drink really adds a lot of just flavor, in my opinion. Not not anything that's gonna change the the base flavor here, of pitch black, but. It takes what you have with zero sugar and carries it to another level. And again, I would probably give this a 10. Why? Because it's pitch black that gives me energy and you got less of that aspartame, zero sugar kind of aftertaste, that sweetener aftertaste than you do with your regular zero sugar soda. Of course, energy drinks, most of the time, they don't supply a lot of energy for me, but I'm going to enjoy this because there's, there's no shame in it. There's no sugar to worry about, and it tastes like pitch black, so I got to give them credit. 10 out of 10, easily, even though I do prefer the soda. I think that's just slightly more flavorful, but you're getting an energy out of this. You're getting energy. You got to keep that in mind. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I... We'll see y'all around. Yay! Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up. And let me take care of these notifications. I'll be right back, everybody. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. And I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or to the Southern Snacks channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists. On both my main channel and my second channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 7,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 2,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too. Please, everybody, I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too. Please, everybody, I would really appreciate it. Please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really appreciate that too. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.